I'm gonna find I'm gonna show you how a car engine works. And I'm gonna use the the most layman's terms that I can think of. I've just gotta find a good example. Let me find a good example for you. Okay. <laughs> So, when you put fuel into your car and it goes through the engine, this is what it looks like inside. So, the way that the car goes is the wheels are hooked up through the axles, which are then hooked up to this part inside of the engine. And when the fuel from the fuel tank it's these wheels inside of the engine. That's what turns the axles, which turns the wheels. So the exhaust catalytic converter is taking the old oil down here, and then it rotates it so that it can go back through again. But your oil can only go through about three times before it goes bad. Or sorry, your fuel rather. And then after that uh, is when it completely evaporates. On the first go through, you retain about 75% of the gas. The second go through is about 50%. The last go through is about 25%. And then the rest of the time it goes, uh, it turns into um, oil. Fuel is turning fluid, yes. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Here's your gas tank. Here's your, um... Shock absorbent rear. Your piston, yeah, spin a majiggy. Yeah, that guy. So you got that, and this is connected then to the axle, which is then connected to the wheels. And the shock absorber is what absorbs the shock of the uh, pipe having to flip upside down to put the fuel through again. Um, so that's the shock that needs to be absorbed. Uh, and then this thing that we're about to fix now takes the um, spent gas that has turned into air liquid solid gas the gas that has turned into gas and then it goes through this pipe and i'm gonna fix it by spraying it i suppose to see where the leak is gotta see where the leak's coming out this is like living in florida and then you're uh you're like wow i love this plastic inflatable shamu um but every time i jump on it in the pool now it's getting smaller and smaller and more flat and then your dad's like oh it's probably got a leak in it so then you you drown the shamu under the water and see where the bubbles are coming from so that then you can put like a there it is. Then you can put a tape on your Shamu. Fuel goes in piston. When piston comes down, the fuel explodes. This forces the piston up. Neighboring pistons are connected, so as one piston goes up, the other piston goes down. A chain reaction of mini explosions. And that's beautiful. <laughs> 